Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. We have flowing water. This is the top of the creek, a culvert. I still don't understand how a culvert can be placed under a road in a creek. But this is how I receive it and I'll have to live with it. Many times I have questions about why not taking this water onto the land and uh, this is horizontal so horizontal that way it's up many many meters horizontal this way is up many many meters if I go down the same pattern repeats the pond western pond is around there and double the distance to that water tank on the left a curve to the left it follows the contour this is the goats eating the grass the top of the canal system it appears to be the inlet it goes into uh, the sediment trap it goes into the cistern down there and then the creek alongside it this is horizontal it's up it's up maybe from the water level even three meters up the canal system to the left the creek on the right this is level horizontal it's up on the left it's up on the right I cannot take this water anywhere this is lower down the creek beautiful area I just love sitting here level it's going up level it's going up further down uh, just over there is where the spring runs from the canut to the creek horizontal up up I cannot take the water up there it's at least I'm one 93 and I can just barely see over this so this must be make it 185 a lot of things must happen before the water can flow that way now when I go down it's getting much flatter so possibility is to take water, collect water here and then have a canal or a tube to run east and west is troublesome because uh, it's much higher than the east here here I'm halfway down the creek or make it 60% and contour level it's going down it's 
going up the west going up and the east going down but this water must still get there this water must be the level of the land so I have a lot of farms to catch to fill in this spaces this is level and this might be 70 80 centimeters and then we have land this is an area that side it's double that this is an area where we had the most success in getting the water level up and that's why I've put the second gabion here even higher uh, I'm happy to sacrifice this one and just get it higher um, the root has done a perfect job here I wanted to keep that opening between the gabion and the root of the tree uh, no erosion whatsoever because it's just solid root it's done a good job I wanted to see if this gabion stands my Iberian ocas geese So here we have the best possibility, but unfortunately we are running out of land. Um, by the neighbor's land, he has a thousand five hundred hectares. What is that? It's about four thousand acres. Uh, <laughs> I don't want more land. So, um, just to, I'm going to drown myself here. Let me backstep. Anyway, the west is much higher. The east flatter, leveling out. So there where Luna is. Um, if we heightened that level um, more water can go further to the east but it's 20 meters of land which doesn't make sense to the west uh, more than 180 that uh, the, the land is higher. This is where our vegetable gardens are. So, just to show, I get comments, beautiful, wonderful, appreciated comments, but also many people say, why not take the water over to the land? It's not possible not within my current uh, mental capacity and reasonable activity I cannot do that why not pump it I can there is water here about six to eight days a year which is not much and when there's water here there's water everywhere I am calm about this creek we have done a lot of things it the level has risen some places one meter one meter ten I am hopeful thankful and we will have to see what we can do
sun came out after nine days. Uh, looks like tomorrow is the last of this bout of rain. We have received almost six inches. Great! Till next time. Stay level. Goodbye. <laughs>